about a year ago, I made a video showing something that had happened at a Kenneth Copeland event where he was supposed to be praying for people and helping them to heal, and then this happened. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This poor guy falling over in his wheelchair came after Kenneth Copeland had been teaching on the topic of the prescription for healing, where he made many great claims about how everybody can get healed. In fact, here's how he started his little speech. You will receive your healing today. If you will receive it. Amen. Kenneth Copeland has taught me so much. Well, Kenneth has taught him this much, how not to heal anybody while you make it appear that a whole bunch of people are getting healed. Watch this recent clip of Todd working the crowds, getting them all excited about something that's about to happen. And then they actually bring a guy into the stadium in a wheelchair. In the name of Jesus, you're the one that heals disease. You're the one that heals disease in Jesus name. We bind paralysis. Come on. in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name come on in the name of Jesus be healed be made whole in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name In Jesus name. Here's my commentary on that Kenneth Copeland video from last year. It actually applies very, very similarly to this video of Todd White. Word of faith healers like Kenneth Copeland, Benny Hinn, Bill Johnson, Todd White, etc., etc. What they really do is they give speeches. They put on a show. I want you to notice how after this guy falls down violently in his wheelchair, Kenneth Copeland is totally unfazed. He keeps the show going. Thank you, Lord. 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 Now then, you guys, just help him up. Help him up. Power of God's all over him. He's not hurt. He's not hurt. Praise the God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In Kenneth Copeland's situation, he had the cameras right on him, and he was right next to the guy in the wheelchair. For Todd White, he's a little more fortunate because he's up on stage, and as soon as the guy fell out of the wheelchair after attempting to get out of the wheelchair, the cameras quickly switched to Todd up on stage. Be healed in Jesus' name. Come on! In the name of Jesus! Be healed, be made whole in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You're the one that raises people out of their wheelchairs. In Jesus' name, we call strength into your legs in the name of Jesus. We call strength into your knees, into your legs in Jesus' name. Be healed, be made whole. Father, I thank you for complete wholeness in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. Every cell be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God is healing this man right now. Who else? What is happening? In Jesus' name. I'd like to suggest to you that if everyone believed miracles were for today, actually could demonstrate them, there would no longer be a group of people that didn't believe they were for today. I want everybody to pray with me one more time. 
everybody say this with me in Jesus name every bit of our body be healed right now in Jesus name we thank you father for what you've done this is just the beginning we thank you for more in Jesus name I want everybody to check right now physically all over the room right now check your body physically even if you weren't healed the first time just check check right now if come on another one yeah Woo if you know you're healed wave both hands over your head if you know if Jesus has healed you wave both hands over your head right now okay guys eyes on me just one minute one one second if from the beginning of when we pray started praying for the sick if you've been healed from anything from anything hey 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 since the beginning of prayer I want every one of you to wave both hands over your head if you've been healed wave your hands Amen. give Jesus a big shout come on hallelujah <laughs> Isn't our King wonderful, mighty to save, mighty to heal. What a wonderful Jesus. He's healed. He's healed. Come on, praise God. He's healed. He's being healed as we speak. He's healed. He's being healed as we speak. Yes. He's healed, but he's also being healed. You know what that sounds like? It's dead. It's, it's dead. done. It has ceased. Yes. It has ceased to exist. Yes. It's beginning to shrivel. Yes. Hey. It's beginning to draw yes. up and shrivel. Yes. Hey. And disintegrate. Yes. Is there more strength in your body? More strength in your body right now? Yes. He said yes. Is there more strength in your body? More strength in your body right now? Yes, he said yes. Is there more strength in your body? More strength in your body right now? Yes, he said yes. Come on, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Guys, do you know some of you might be wondering like, wow, is this actually legitimate? Is Are people, are the deaf ears popping? Are there people getting out of their wheelchairs? You know, the thing that Todd White claimed was just about to happen? You're the one that raises people, people out of their, out of their wheelchairs. wheelchairs. In Jesus' name! That didn't work either, huh? I mean, if you had a deaf ear pop, just scream as loud as you can. You're either lying or that's the truth. That is the truth. God just healed these people. And I want to tell you, not every miracle happens instantly necessarily, but we give God glory for what He is doing, not what He isn't. But we give God glory for what He is doing, not what He isn't, okay? And I want to put on the screen something. I want to pick, put a picture up there so you can see what happened on the street. Let's look at the first photo. This woman was in a literal chair. She met our team on the street. This is an electric chair, chair she'd been in for years. This is an electric chair, chair she'd been in for years. She's been in an electric chair for years and she's still alive? Now that's a true miracle. Now, sometimes when you pray for people, it's a progressive healing. It's not all instant. Sometimes it's just like that. Bang, the ear pops, it's instant. Well, that woman on the street, the Lord instantly healed her. Look at the next photo. For those of you who doubt that God can do this, that is her. She was walking. I mean, guys, Jesus said these words, only 
believe. And in Europe, the time of skepticism is finished. It's the time of faith. We must believe the gospel. Come on, give glory to the King of glory. I'd like to suggest to you that if everyone believed miracles were for today, actually could demonstrate them, there would no longer be a group of people that didn't believe they were for today. Hey! It's the living witness of having a theology that we can't demonstrate that speaks against us. Bill Johnson says things like that because he wants to kind of take the attention off the fact that he doesn't heal anybody either, even though he talks about it all the time. These people are speech makers. They make speeches, and then when people like me make these sorts of videos that point out what hypocrites they are, they say that we are blaspheming the Holy Spirit. No, they are. It's very wrong to proclaim something is happening, that God is actually doing something, when God did not say that, you did. And that's what these men are guilty of. God does sometimes heal, absolutely, but God is sovereign, and God will choose when and when not to heal. I want you to see another clip from that Kenneth Copeland wheelchair video from last year because I think it helps to answer the question, why, why are you making these kind of videos? Isn't that being negative? Isn't that hurting the body of Christ? No, I, I don't think so at all. I think these men are hurting the body of Christ. Glory to God. Look at your pretty self. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are precious in my sight and you're precious in Jesus' sight. In that name. That's the Holy Spirit. That's Him. Praise God. Yes, amen. Thank you, Jesus, for your name and for the power and the Word of the living God. Word of the living God. Word of the living God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. This is what happens when Kenneth Copeland prays for you. Absolutely nothing. But most of these people end up smiling and acting like it's okay. And now we'll see Kenneth Copeland going over to the disturbed man in the wheelchair. Yeah, that's him going through you right now. <clears throat> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Glory to God. You're not bound to this chair. The day will come you'll walk out of it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Now then, you guys, just help him up. Help him up. Power of God's all over him. He's not hurt. He's not hurt. Praise the God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord God. Oh, I like the color of that mask there. <laughs> you knew I'd like that one, didn't you? Oh, red, white, and blue. Glory to God. In the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I perceive in my spirit you're a veteran. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, let's be praising God. Let's be praising His name. Let's be worshiping Him. Let's be worshiping Him. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yep, Kenny's just going to go right past the guy in the green shirt in the wheelchair. He doesn't want to have another incident with him tipping over and falling down again. Just like all of these professional performers, they got to keep the show going. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Glory to God. You had some pitchy spots here and there, you know what I mean? Bill Johnson is a praise and worship specialist. Hallelujah, Lord. And he's good at his job. <laughs> And that's the reason the glory falls. I need to hear this man. Yes. Amen. I need to hear his specialty. Yes. Amen. I need to hear this man. It's the living witness of having a theology that we can't demonstrate that speaks against us. Are you, Are you listening? listening? So the guy in the video with Todd White is Ben Fitzgerald, who learned all of his tricks at Bethel. 
And this event called the Callback in the Netherlands took place in mid-July of 2022. And this guy was one of the speakers they had on a different night, and he's really creepy. His preaching is nonsensical, theological rubbish, and his behavior is very disturbing. Yeah, 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 the viper means snake, spiritual, spiritual snake. Yeah, it might be your sickness. It might be your curse behind your life. It might be your addiction. It might, it might be your fear. I don't know the name of that viper, but God sent me to the place, to this place to prophesy and to speak to you that something is about to happen in this place right now. So the point he's making is that the Holy Spirit told him that this couple of verses in Acts chapter 28 have a completely new meaning. But the actual verse says, 28 verse 3, When Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and put them on the fire, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. And then in verse 5, it says, He, however, shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. That's the story. He turns it into this super spiritual thing, and everyone in this room is going to get the fire of God so that they can get the vipers out of their lives. Yeah, what God is about to do, listen to this. Listen to this. I believe the Holy Spirit will, will come upon you right now in a mighty way. And God will ignite that fire from inside out in your life. He will increase that heat inside of you. And because of that heat, I'm prophesying to you, all the vipers will come out out of your life, out of your home, out of your family, out of your destiny, out of your purpose in the mighty name of Jesus shout to the Lord there is no fire inside but I know God is changing here God is changing in Europe God is changing in this country yeah the shift is happening through this conference I can feel that I can sense that the shift is happening on this conference throughout these days yeah how many of you are ready for that? How many of you, you are ready for that? How many of you, you are ready for that? How many of you are ready for that? How many of you, you are ready? You're truly ready for that. You are the mouth of God. You are the prophetic voice for this generation. He doesn't need your opinion and your experience. He's going to increase the heat in this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. God's going to increase the heat by the anointing. And I'm telling you, the deliverance will take place right now. God will break all the curses upon your life and your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, I'm just speculating here. But I want you to notice this woman, the one who's going to get pushed down violently by Andre. In this scene, everyone's got their hands raised and they're really getting into the hypnotic presentation and the repetitive music. She appears to be reading a book with a red cover. Could be a Bible. Could be the tourist guide for the city because she's looking for a hotel that night. But it is weird that she appears to be ignoring the crowd and reading a Bible. And it's really weird that she's about to get shoved to the ground very violently while the crowd just stands around and watches it as if it was acceptable. Come on, begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Come on, lift your voice in the Spirit. All of you in this room. Come on, run, run, run. Keep praying, keep praying in the Holy Spirit. Keep praying, church. Makataya lehendeya. Keep praying in the Spirit. Raba baba sata. Rehanda laras. Kem raba baba sotaya. Nihanda laras sotoya. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Shaka baba 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 sataya. Shaka tataya sundo. Consume me with your fire. some pitchy spots here and there you know what I mean changes is about to happen right now
I want you to keep shouting word fire until the power of God will hit you. All the demons will live your life forever. Sickness will flee. Sickness will flee. Disease will flee. I don't know what we're yelling about! Listen, 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 listen! God says I'm gonna use their voice to break that wall. Yeah, God always needs something to do supernatural. He's gonna use your natural voice. But when you're gonna be shouting the word fire, your wall will fall down. All the sicknesses and diseases, you hear my voice by the power of the Holy Spirit. One, two, three, fire! Because he hasn't done enough emotional damage to this auditorium full of young people. He's going to go into the audience now, start waving his hands around and literally knocking people over. This is the most disturbing incident that I could find in this very long video. By the way, there's Daniel Kalenda. He was there for this whole event. You see him on stage up there. He apparently approves of a man going into an audience and then shoving a woman down to the ground violently. What do you think, Dan? We want the baptism of your fire. of God. We need the fullness of your spirit. God, we want more. I think it's nice that they let a member of the Kundalini Cub Scouts Senior Citizens Association participate. Oh yes, Lord, oh, more, more. Yes, God, in the depth of our spirit, change our life. Receive it, receive it. Yes, come on, lift your voice. That's the hunger of the Lord in your hearts. Some of you are being baptized in the Holy Spirit and tongues right now. Let go of your thinking, 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 let go of your thinking. Of your thinking. Allow the Spirit to speak through you, to speak through your tongue. Fire of the Holy Spirit, fire. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Rodi under the mashtavre, yora de, ro shambri under the miara bakatari under the bow. As much as I disagree with Ben Fitzgerald and much of what's going on here, I have to say those are some of the nicest sounding fake tongues I've heard. It's kind of like an Irish Lord of the Rings mixture he's got going there. Rodi under the mashtavre, yora de. Ro shambri andri miara bakatari andri bo. 